Hi guys, today we are going to do a little bit of creative writing. So we're going to use our imagination and I'm going to think of the first part of the story and then I'm going to pass it on to you and you've got to come up with the second part of the story. So it can be whatever you want. It can have whatever characters you want. The more creative the better. Once upon a time, there were two very, very cheeky children. One was called Sasha and one was called Paul. Now they never listened to their parents. Their parents were constantly telling them to clean up after themselves. They would leave a mess everywhere, they would eat all the chocolate, and they were quite rude as well. Now their parents had had enough. They were sick of it. So they decided to take them to a camping site. They had been recommended this camping site by the kind of creepy old lady next door. However, they were desperate. And that was the only one that they knew was open at this time of the year. So they packed up their stuff and got in the car. On the way, Sasha could see something darting next to the car. It was kind of silvery and it was going too quick for her to see what it was but it was darting in between the trees, almost like it was having a race with the car. She looked up above the sky. The trees looked like they went forever. It had to be at least five times the size of her house. When they finally arrived to the campsite, it was pretty spectacular. Even Paul was impressed. The parents started to set up the tents and started arguing about which pole went in first. Sasha was not interested. Psst, Paul, Paul, over here. Come, 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 come. What is it, Sasha? I need to get this tent up. How about we quickly sneak off and we'll let the oldies get it done? Paul didn't think this was a very good idea because the parents didn't know where they were going and also they didn't know where they were either. Oh, please, Paul, said Sasha. This is just so boring. Look, we won't go far. I promise, as soon as we can't see the tent, we'll come back. So they started to walk through the forest. It was amazing. The trees looked like they were thousands of years old. There were ginormous leaves. There were these tiny little mushrooms, which looked like little pixies could live under. Now, Sasha had never seen anything in her life like this. But then she saw it. That silver flash again. She could see it going faster and faster. Almost like it knew she was following it. It started to pick up its speed and she started to run faster, faster, through all the bushes, through all the... And then clonk. She tripped over a log. She looked up. And she looked around. Paul wasn't there anymore. And she also didn't know which way the tent was. She was lost. She decided that maybe if she kept following the silver light, it would lead her back. If not, at least she'll know what it is. She kept on following it. It was going slower now, like it was leading her somewhere. In the distance, she saw a house? Or was it a mushroom? A mushroom house? I don't know. I wonder what lives in there. The silver light was just sitting on its doorstep. So she thought it'd be rude if she didn't go up. She walked up to the door and put her hand on the doorknob. Gave it a slow turn. I'm going to stop there now and I want you to think about what's behind that door. Think about what Sasha might find. Does she go in there? Is there someone there? What's inside that house? Your turn to use your imagination.